Former Football America's guest Jesse Marsh was on CBS as part of their Champions League coverage. Had this to say about the U.S. men's national team. Quote, we've talked a lot about this golden generation, them being so talented. Well, they don't have a signature win yet. They don't have a win against a big opponent where you can look at it and go, yeah, that was an incredible performance. And that shows that this team is ready for the biggest game. Shots fired, no doubt about that. But are the shots fired at the U.S. players or at the coach, Greg Berhalter? Shaka Hislop, what do you make of Jesse Marsh's comments there? I, I think he's absolutely right. Uh, listen, on, on the one hand, I sympathize. Jesse Marsh, given, given his, his record and reputation as a manager, given that he's continually linked with, with the, the U.S. men's national team job, anything he says will be kind of picked apart little by little. It will be viewed under a microscope. But all he can do is, is give an honest opinion, his honest opinion. And I, I think he's absolutely right in, in what he's seeing. There's a lot about this, this U.S. national team that I think um, has just kind of fallen flat at, at times. And, and maybe that's because of the Nations League and they aren't playing some of those big internationals every single international window that, that they once did. But then, you know, a Gold Cup aside, you, you look at a team that failed to qualify for the World Cup in 2018, that had one win, a 1-0 one against Iran in, in, in 2022. And you're, you're looking for what is, the, what is this team's big kind of signature announcement, given some of the talent that we've discussed just here alone. So... Seb, you actually, World Cup qualifying last year, were the first one. You were the actual first person to say, what's his marquee win? It was actually before the Nations League, I believe. The first Nations League final they won in Denver. They beat Mexico. There's a signature win, right? Well, now I'm asking, is that what Greg Berhalter is going to hang his hat on? We're beating the worst generation of Mexican players that I've seen in my lifetime, that, th those are his accolades. That's what he's going to hang his hat on. We've said it so many times here in Football Americas. He doesn't have a signature win. He doesn't have those marquee wins. Now Jesse Marsh is just saying what we've been saying all along. And, and it's not shots fired. And it's not shots fired, especially at the pool of players. He's talking about Greg Berhalter. And the reason it's not shots fired is because now he's a pundit. He's not a coach. He said it to himself. He's not a coach. So if you're a pundit, be all in. He's just doing his job. He's just saying what everybody else is, is thinking and seeing. A, a, a win against Iran in the World Cup, that's not even what they hang their hat on. When American fans want to hang their hat on something at the World Cup, it's a draw. It's a 0-0 draw against England. That's Greg Berhalter's legacy thus far. Mm. All right, Chaka, real quick, we don't have too much more time here, but you did get a, a couple good looks at the U.S. when they were playing your beloved Trinidad and Tobago in the CONCACAF Nations League quarterfinals, first and second leg. Obviously, there was a red card in the first leg, affects Trinidad and Tobago. A red card in the second leg affects the United States. But what's your, your big takeaway from watching the American team that we saw without Christian Pulisic uh, and without Timothy Way as well? I have to say I was a little bit disappointed in, in, in the U.S. And, and, and their performance. And, and while, yes, Trinidad and Tobago were down to, to 10 men in roughly, what, the 35th minute, 37, some, something of the sort. Um, and and well, to start, even, even before the red card, Trinidad and Tobago quite clearly were, were playing for a draw. I, I thought, one, um, I, the U.S. lacked a, a lot of ideas in, in trying to break down a deep-lying defense. When, when players did get, get opportunities, I, I thought they were, they were wasteful in, in, in front of goal. And, and that, for me, was a, a huge concern. Um, in, in the second leg, yeah, a total meltdown um, by, by Serginio Dest. And then the U.S. team just never seemed to, to get their act together. And, and uh, Matt Turner, I, 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 a goalkeeper I've defended, a goalkeeper I continue to raise, um, didn't cover himself in too much glory in that one either. But then nobody really did. Let, let's be honest, though. A complete Trinidad and Tobago team in that return leg probably scores more goals. Levi mm. Garcia's on the field, and that's more one-way traffic against the U.S. men's national team. Would have made it very, very interesting. Mm-hmm.